Hey, what's up guys? Screwdog77 here, and we're back again for part four. Yeah, that's right. I had to think about that for a second, considering I've recorded uh, one part a couple times. No, I don't have time to do it. So anyway, we have a couple pathways right from the start. I might as well take this thing out. He's got, like, lasers and shit, but once you interrupt him, he'll stop firing his laser. New enemy type, but whatever. We'll be seeing him on any other planet, to my knowledge. So anyway, we come over here, and I'll max out on ammo. And now we have the Pulse Rifle 20,000 and the Mini Turret Glove 25,000. So we haven't even been able to get the Blitz Gun. We're already hooked up with two more weapons. So that's a little, little nerve-wracking, but anyway. We have a couple pathways we could take. Now, I think we should take this pathway first. And it looks like we're going to need the Electrolyzer to do this, so let's head on in. And it's not like, it's kind of like the puzzles in uh, the first game with the, uh, the what was it, Trespasser? Uh, I can't really, like, I'm going to focus again during these. You know? Like, I'm just, like, there's nothing really to talk about when it comes to these. Like, boom, I did it. There we go. This won't be the only one we'll be seeing on this planet, I'm sure. I'm sure we have a couple more to do on this planet. Uh, these guys will, you know, they'll be yellow and skeptical about your presence, and then they'll be red when they're obviously targeting you, and then they're green when they have no intrusion. And these guys are always shooting their lasers. So, yep, and then I can see some guys are spawning in right here. And now we have a really cool thing to do with this planet. And that is, uh, shit. Just trying to crouch and throw my wrench so I can get those bolts. But anyway... Let's hack again. If you ever see one of these, just fucking do it. They're either not... These aren't hard, either. I don't know why. I don't know if maybe it's because I have some sort of enhanced coordination or whatever. But I just find it really easy to tell where they're going. But when I mess up one, then, of course. But anyway, now we can activate the crane. So we're in crane cam. And what we can do is we can grab this uh, metal box. And we'll take it on over to where we obviously can't jump without some aid. So now that's there. Now you can actually get a skill point here for um, shooting. For okay, no, no, no. For destroying all of these robots down here with the box, like dropping it all on them. But of course, I'm not gonna do that here. Ooh, that worked out. I thought it was definitely gonna take a hit. But anyway, so I'm not sure. But hopefully, we'll find Clank soon. Uh, the thief has brought him somewhere on the- he's still here, apparently, because wild we have gotten the coordinates. I mean, it wasn't too visu visually, uh, descriptive on where exactly Clank was in that last cutscene, but it gave us the coordinates here, so we know he's gotta be here somewhere. Anyway, these guys are kinda funny. They, like, shoot dual pistols, but they don't have, like, any range at all, so as long as you use, you know, any of the weapons you could possibly have at this point, uh, you should be good. Look at that. Door opened up. Some more enemies are coming out. Um, we've got two platinum bolts on this, pat on this planet. And I know where, uh, both of them are. Thinking about it now. I know where, I know where they both are. One's on this flat pathway, and one's on the alternate pathway. And there's sort of gonna be a split in the pathway we didn't take. And it'll sort of act as a sort of third pathway that we will be doing, of course. But anyway, looks like we're going to do another crane puzzle. Another crane pu Well, technically, yes, we are still are going to do a puzzle with the crane. Um, but you have to do an electrolyzer first to unlock it. And the further you get through the game, the more complicated these will get. But again, I've never thought of them to be too hard. Uh, even when I was a kid, these were pretty easy. So anyway, as you can see, the door right here is actually blocked off. But here's this really cool thing you can do. Come here. Come here. Come on. Yeah. We can grab these guys and they shoot their lasers down. How fucking cool is that? And there's an explosive crate here. We can actually like leave this guy over that. But I'm actually going to drop him into there. And we're going to grab the uh, explosive crate. And we're going to bring it back here. And this should open the door. But we're not quite done here. Let's watch it blow up. Make sure. Yep. Now we can get through. So, that's peachy. But that's not all we're going to be doing. We actually have a little bit more to do here. So, if we come into the third room over here, we can find there's a metal box. And we're actually going to need it to get up there. But the gold bolt is... The platinum bolt is also... In, by the end of this, I'll, I won't be doing it anymore. I won't be saying it wrong. But anyway, over here is a door we can't really see. But if we drop that down on it, 
down right there by the door that I can't see. So if I fuck this up, I'm gonna be really sad. And then we bring an explosive crate over and drop it on top of the first, the top of the metal box. Yep, it blew open a door. So now we'll head out there, collect that, because I'm pretty sure we need the, the, uh, what's it called? Yeah, we need the large, oh uh, no, we probably could have moved it. So now I feel dumb, but anyway. Boom, platinum bolt, obtained. And as you can see, uh, so far, including the rest of this planet, all the, none of the plants we've gone to have had any really super annoying uh, gold uh, platinum bolts. And I took, and the reason I'm not fighting those guys there is because I want to do a dumb thing that I always do every time. I think every time I play the game, I always do it this dumb thing. So anyway, we'll come over here. We'll bring it on over here. That way we can get through. But anyway, we haven't seen any um, platinum bolts that require. Uh, backtracking. Like, the, there were two on Uzla, there were two in the Maktar Resort, and there were there's gonna be two here, and none of them have to be backtracked. So anyway, for some reason, I decided that it'd be fun. I always think it's funny to uh, leave the guy there, so he's always destroying the infinitely spawning crates. And I don't think you can kill him when he's up there. You know what? This is a good time to find out. Ah, uh, we can. I was really hoping that he was invincible up there, but... Alas, he was not. Anyway, we got some more of these guys with the short fucking range that can't do anything. And then we're gonna, they're gonna try and sneak attack us, but we upgraded our nanotech, which I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this on Uzla when it happened there the first time, that that destroys all the enemies on screen. But if I didn't, I'll mention it now. And also, can I wall jump this? I'm wondering. Uh, this looks a l no, it doesn't. I mean, does it? I don't know. I'm not- I'm wondering if I can say that this looks familiar or not, because I don't know if we saw it in the cutscene, but Clank? oh shit. Okay, Clank, don't move. I I'm coming down. Whoa! Ooh, son of a quark! Alright, buddy. Let's get you up and running again. Okay, so anyway, Clank seems to be incapacitated at the moment, so we gotta use the electrolyzer. Did it just fall out of the sky? I don't know. Hey, it looks like kind of like a- a ship or a Christmas tree? I don't know. I'm an idiot. But anyway, we gotta help Clank out. And there we go. Memed and reamed. Final digit of pi is... Clank? Clank, can you hear me? Ratchet? Where are we? Hmm. I must have dozed off. Don't sweat it. Let's just find a way out of here. I believe that air duct may offer our only way out. Okay, so the thief has pushed us down into an area we can no longer leave, so we get to play as Clank for the first time in this game, and this surely will not be the last. Shut up, I know how to play as Clank. I know what I'm doing. So anyway, everything about Clank from the last game pretty much stays the same here. I'm trying to think if there's anything old that doesn't. Uh, we get Gadgetbots. Also, this dude's always pointing at us, so I'm gonna... No. Okay. If you want to make sure your, uh, your gadget bots don't get fucked up, just make sure to distract the beam. So see, now he's firing away from them because he only fires in your direction, shit. Eh, did a good job there, but anyway. Follow me. Okay, one got destroyed. So here's a new thing, and this is actually confirmed to appear in the Ratchet and Clank movie game. Having not to talk about that too much yet. Man, I'm glad to be back recording, but anyway, it's a bridge bot, and as you can, as you saw there, we commanded him to create a bridge, and then, just to get him back up, he'll come back on whatever side you were on, so now we have our four gadget bots, so anyway, I'm gonna come over here so his beam will be distracted, and then I'll send them into attack, and as you can see over here, we have another new, um, Lift Another new guy over here, Use and if we blocks. look out, it sort of looks like we can see a swing shot, uh, Versa Target, and Grind Rails. What? That's crazy. Is that for real? Whatever, I'm just telling you what I'm, what it looks like. Oh, I made them all salute me, whoops. Uh, do you even lift bro bot over here? That's, uh, that's his name to me. He's do you ever lift, have you, do you even lift bro bot? So anyway, um, really the point of this was just to introduce us to some of the new kinds of, uh, bots, and of course he fucking died. But anyway, 
build another bridge. And look, he's back. Yay, he's back. I made them salute me again. Never not salute me. Anyway, our little buddies over here will uh, stick to the attack. And for so they gave us four, but we only need to input two, so whatever. I don't know where that other one went. He's probably on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't cross the bridge with us, but whatever, doesn't matter. Anyway, gotta pick up these bolts. And we'll head on through, and I'm not sure where we are, but our gadgetbots did not follow, so let's activate the door. Way to go, Clank! <laughs> Nothing to it. You did great. Now, let's go get that experiment back. Okay, so now... Exciting, exciting. We now have Clank on our back again, and I'm wondering... Why can't... We should be able to wall jump probably back up. But no matter, we now have Clank, and his controls are the same, except we can't use his, uh abilities while holding R2 and L2, like because now those are the straight buttons, right? So we have to use L1. Mm. We can only use R1. I don't know what I'm talking about. Aiming is that one. We still have the high jump. We still have the long jump. And if you go to your gadgets, you can see that we have both backpacks now. The thruster pack, you can also equip. So don't think they forgot about you thruster pack fans, but for me, I'll be sticking with the helipack because I like it better. It's better distance. Anyway, boom, I know how to already set a long jump. You just, you get a run and start, and then you press uh, the X and the other button at the same X and... Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Press X and R1 at the same time to do a long jump. And we're pretty much done with that pathway for the most part. We'll just run around here real quick and get all the balls. Shut up! I know he comes without their back! I told them! I told them already! But anyway, we're getting pretty close to upgrading the multi-star, and we now have enough for the blitz gun. So that's fairly exciting. So this teleporter should take us back to the start, and we can actually go into the vendor and stock up. So I could save up for these, but that'll be a while. So let's grab this. But in the meantime, I'll go over that weapon when the time comes. But you see how, like, okay, so you have to destroy the trash can to, like, make the robots appear and the laser gates go down. Just saying. We'll see it again right here, but, uh... That's another thing. I don't want to immediately show off the new weapons um, because I haven't finished upgrading the one I'm on. So see, I could show off the blitz gun. You press circle and it shoots close range shotgun like attack bullets or whatever. But I'd rather just keep fighting with the multi-star. The chopper is what I meant to say because the multi-star is its upgrade version. And I just can't fucking talk. There are some guns that I will not do this with. The pulse rifle, I have no idea what its eye. Uh, it's a uh, evolved form is called. I thought the evolved form was the pulse rifle. Actually, you know what? I think I do remember what it's called. I think it's called the flux rifle. I wanted to prove that. I'm not making shit up. I'm pretty sure it's the flux rifle. I know what the mini turret one is too, but there will be some weapons that I just won't, you know, you know, be that into. So I'll be like, whatever. And some weapons I like their first name better. So it just, so far, um. The blitz gun, I, w I probably won't. Oh shit, where'd you come from, dude? Get out of here, man. And we're also coming up on the second gold bolt, but anyway. What the fuck? Hey, where are you going? What the fuck? Some dude in a helicopter just strolled up. That looks like some of those thugs for less guys from earlier. But anyway, we're coming up on the next uh, gold bolt. Fucking Christ. The next platinum bolt. Dude, I can't. I can't. I hate to white girl it, but I can't. Even. Like, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, we just... Whoa, no! Wait, what the fuck does it look like down there? Anyway, we were coming down here to get the second platinum bolt. So, yeah! Sweet. And actually, uh... Now that we've got that, we should be good on platinum bolts. I'm thinking it's the next planet, because the next planet we'll be going to will be Planet Barlow. Okay, so we come down here, and it's like, okay... Here we go, I deactivated that, and now some enemies are going to start showing. Oh, fuck! They spawn in front of me?! How could this happen? Also, these guys pretty much just have to touch you, I'm pretty sure, to hurt you. Fuck, I ran out of ammo, but luckily, my multi-stars bounced off the walls and killed them. Oh, God! Blitz gun it up! Bam! Haha, I was able to use the blitz gun, and I'm upset, because this thing is almost leveled up. So, hopefully we'll get some ammo, but this is the alternate pathway I was telling you guys about. Where, uh... Uh, looks like we need the swing shot and the uh, grind boots to do that one. 
But anyway, we're not really sure. I'm not really sure what's on this pathway. And by that, I mean, like, I know what's on this pathway, but I'm going to pretend I don't know what's on this pathway. Did I grab a multi-star? <sighs> Chopper? No, I didn't. Ooh, that's frustrating. But anyway, we have another big room over here. I'm just going to destroy both of those trash cans. Take them all on at once. I think if you destroy those in a certain order, like, less enemies will appear at a time. Or not, I don't know. I thought, yeah. I guess regardless, it was going to make us wait a little bit. But, uh, anyway. The Blitz gun is pretty useful, as you can see. It's not too, too short range. Like, I could still fire and hit someone probably across the room. But, you know, it's not a big deal. But anyway, head over here and, uh... Hmm. Greetings, morons. Since my employees did such a lousy job of taking care of you, I thought I'd come and handle things myself. This is gonna You can tell you which path we were supposed to do first because Clank wasn't on our back. But you know, whatever. Whatever game. You do you. Uh I like how we actually did it out of order. Wait a minute, he said greeting morons, didn't he? Isn't that what he said? He said greet morons. So it was like he was talking to us, but then Clank wasn't in the uh, scene. So I'm not sure. But this guy is a total pushover. I say that as I realize that I don't even have that much health. But anyway, you could... Ooh! Oh, you know what? He was doing two damage at a time. Holy shit. And come on. Respawn me. Okay, well, holy shit. First death, I think. No more fucking around. Curious, how much damage does fucking that do, punk bitch? Shit. That's what I get for not le keeping the the uh, the freeze time thing on the uh, quick select. I get hit a couple times, but yeah. See, he's d oh fucking Christ, fucking shit! Oh, I ran out of ammo and I was just firing nothing. Anyway, now I can use that strategy I was talking about before. And, sorry dude, catch you later if you don't die. Also, god damn it, because we were fighting a boss and I had to see that cutscene. The fucking chopper upgraded without the fancy cool cutscene. That's a, that's, oh, that's annoying. We didn't get a fancy cutscene, but anyway, look at the, uh, look at the stars now. Don't they look super radical? I'm sorry that I had to talk the way I do. But anyway, we're outside Clank's apartment. So we head on in here and, uh, hey. what's that? My old swing shot and grind boots. So anyway, check that shit out. Also, while we're here, I might as well show off that if we well, use the dynamo- Look at the- Look, it's Jack and Dexter! <laughs> My throat is gonna be so fucked up if I keep doing that. Ah, it's Jack and Daxter from Jack 2. Holy shit, but anyway, if we press circle, we could play, like, some weird fucking game. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck it. We're not playing this. If you break it, you get like 2,000 volts, I think, exactly. Or no. 1,024. Whatever. Not important. Anyway. Uh, I don't know if, if Clank was lifting, bro, or whatever, but... It's gonna try and teach us how to use the swing shot, but I know what I'm doing. Oh, shit. I know what I'm doing, as I don't know what I'm doing. Also, those are what the uh, swinging targets look like now. They look like that now. They don't look like the yellow ones we saw in the first game. And also, here's a new type that you grab, and instead of them, instead of pulling you towards them, it pulls the target towards you. So it brought it down, activate the teleporter. But we're not quite done on this planet. We still have a little bit of work to do. So, uh, I could cut to the middle of the level where we saw what we need to do. But I'd like to take this opportunity to talk Do I just want to skip there? I don't know. I feel like I can get there pretty fast. Oh, you know what? We we haven't done this in a long time. Just fucking long jumping away. Knowing me, I'd probably like fucking fly off the edge or something. Also, this door over here, I don't think it's anything. I don't think there's anything behind there. Anyway, see? Nah, I didn't need to cut. We're fine. We're fine. So anyway, swing shot on over and boom, grind rails. Uh, grind rails pretty much work the same. Exactly the same as they did in the first game. And they'll pretty much always work the same. Grind The grind boots appear in a lot of games. Uh, and we just do the same side jump. You just hold in the direction you want to jump and press X when there's a way. But here's something we didn't see in the last game that I thought we might have. But 
I was like, nah, we fine. It didn't end up happening. And I fucking got hit. Hope we don't get hit again. I'm now realizing that we're in a predicament because I got hit so many times during that boss fight. But yeah, pretty neat. Uh, but this is just a short sort of tutorial type one. Anyway, we head up here, and I'm wondering what's up here. Put it in the slot. The weapon you want modified. Put it in the slot. Oh, I get it. You make weapon modifications. Yep. I can take your puny little weapon, and with a few, uh, tweaks, I can turn it into a powerful piece of equipment. Look, you want me to hook you up or what? I can't hang around here all day. Okay, so we are now introduced to a new character that will appear in, a, in several Ratchet and Clank games in the future, Slim Cognito, and he is a... He's a sort of merchant who deals in illegal technology. You know, here he's dealing in illegal weapon modifications, and we might see him again in the future. Maybe doing some evil shit. Well, not evil shit, but, like, illegal stuff. Maybe he'll go to prison. Who knows? But anyway, these are what platinum bolts are for this time around. Buying weapon mods. So we should have six. Yeah, we do. I don't know why we said we should have six. Like, I actually thought about the planets, because it says it right there. So we can get some of these. Now, I'm thinking four, five. So we can get, like, all but one of these. And I'm thinking that we get the, uh, the electric mod for this. Uh, lock on mod for that. We'll get that. And we'll get the acid mod for the mini game. So, anyway, not gonna wait till the end of the game this time around to get as many upgrades. Also, you just come over here. Shut up! Shut up! What's happening? Oh my god, I didn't even realize I hit it. Oh, because I was trying to interrupt the message. That's what happened. But anyway, Ratchet's damaged, so that's why he looks like how he looks. Just like in the first game, but, uh,. This isn't the only planet he'll be appearing on, just for sake of convenience. So you could actually, like, skip this and get the same cutscene on another planet, even though I don't think Clank will be on your back. But, uh, anyway, let's fly on over to Planet Barlow. And I'm not sure we're gonna get a cutscene in between this planet and the next. Well, let's just hope not. Oh, we're just flying through space. But anyway, it's been super fun recording this part and all. But, I, ooh, I didn't even check and see how many Platinum Bolts were on this planet. So we'll check that out when we get here, but, uh... As you can see, it looks like there it says Gadgetron. So I guess Gadgetron once used to operate here, but I guess they probably got pushed out of business by Megacorp. The point is, is that we're here now. I'm heading back over the ship to see how many Gold Bolts. I can think of one off the bat. There's two, so... I'll worry about that, though. I'll see you guys on part five? Is that where we are now? Yeah, part five. I'll see you guys on part five. Peace out.